So welcome back to the channel, YouTubers. Today I got a special video. I want to share with you how to back sweeten wine. If you watched any of my other videos, you know I've, I've showed you little bits and pieces. But here we're going to get into the technical aspects of if you want to get more consistent with back sweeten your wine. But then I'm also going to show you my method and my wife's method of how we back sweeten wine. It's going to be a great video. Stay tuned. Make sure you click the like and subscribe button. And let's get into back sweeten wine technical versus non technical. Gotta think about it. Gotta dream about it. Gotta find a way to do the things that make you feel the love. Gotta think about it. Gotta dream about it. Gotta find a way to do the things that. So, there's many different methods of how to back sweeten wine and what to use. There's honey versus sugar. I like to use sugar, making a simple syrup to do it. Uh, I just find it's easier to work with. Uh, the results have never failed me. Um, so that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a simple syrup to back sweeten our wine. And then when I say technical, if you want to be consistent and maybe you're going to sell your wine commercially and you need to be consistent uh, rather than my method that I'm going to show you later in the video, uh, this technical way will make sure you have consistent results each and every time. If you're following a recipe, say to make like a blueberry wine and you want to make sure it's sweetened exactly the same way, this is how you do it the technical way. So let's get right into this video. So we're going to make a simple syrup. We're going to back sweeten this banana wine because I'm a fan of semi-sweet wine. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, we got four cups of sugar here. We're going to add that to our pan and then we're going to get four cups of water. So here we're going to add our four cups of water and we're going to turn the heat on and we want to get this basically dissolved in until it is clear. If you watched any of my other videos, you'll see what I mean here. Uh, it'll turn clear. It'll be almost to the boiling point and then we're going to shut it off and let this cool. And, and if you're just making a one gallon batch, I would start with like one cup of sugar and one cup of water. Remember, we're making a five gallon batch of banana, so uh, that's why I'm starting with a little bit more sugar. So you can see here the simple syrup here. You can see bubbles starting to form at the bottom of this. So it's getting close to boiling and more important is how clear it is. That's what you want. You don't want to be able to scrape any sugar from the bottom and you want to get it to that close to boiling point. You can see it's crystal clear and I'm not scraping any sugar. So I'm going to shut off the heat and we're going to let this cool to room temperature before we can use All it. Right, so this is the technical way like I was telling you about. What we're going to do is we're going to put a quarter cup of our wine in each one of these uh, cups. And then we're going to add a different amount of simple syrup to each one. And then we're going to test it. And then whichever one we like, what we'll do is we'll multiply it out based on our five gallon vessel and see exactly how much we want to put in simple syrup to get it to exactly where we want. You would do this if you're going to sell it commercially and you want exact taste every single time. So here we got our quarter cup in our uh, of wine in our drinks. Now we're going to go ahead and add our simple syrups. All right, so we got our quarter cup of wine measured in our cups. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a half a teaspoon in one and mix it in. And then we'll add a one teaspoon to the middle one. And the very end one, we'll put one and a half teaspoons. And then we're going to try it. So here's the last one. This will be the sweetest because we're adding one and a half teaspoons. So then we'll, like I said, we'll do our calculations and we'll see how much we need to put in the five gallon. That's how you do this, the technical way. But now we're going to taste this, see which one we like, and then we're going to show you our way. All right, so we're going to try the one that has the le least amount of sweetener first and see if we think it's going to be where we like it, semi-sweet wine. 
That one's not real sweet. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the next one. Wow. That one, I would consider semi-sweet. And I'm hoping this last one will be the uh, sweet, which we always do bottle a couple of those. Wow. You think mm. that's good sweet? I like them both. Yeah, they're both good. Yeah. This one, much better. <laughs> so that's how you do it. The technical way. We're, I'll do the math. I'll throw some numbers up here on the screen so you can kind of see. Mm. But we'll measure one teaspoon now to get it into the five gallon worth of uh, banana wine. So if you do the math, and uh, remember, we started out with a quarter cup of wine, and we like the one teaspoon. So if you do the conversion, uh, there's 320 quarter cups of wine in a five-gallon batch. So if we do the conversion, we like the one teaspoon. It comes out to 1.67 quarts that we would need to add to this five-gallon batch of wine of the simple syrup. So 1.67 quarts will get it exactly the way we want every single time. That's what the technical way is to do it if you want consistency. So here we go. This is the Laura and Todd way, down and dirty, how to do this. Now we're going to go ahead and get some semi-sweet going. I've got our simple syrup here, and we're going to probably just put this in like a cup to two cups at a time. Again, I'm pretty sure we're going to use this from experience, but let's just add maybe uh, a third of this, and then we'll stir it in and we'll taste it. This is the Todd and Laura way. So we're pretty sure this is going to be pretty dry, but uh, we like it semi-sweet. And not even close. She says it's not even close, so we're going to add more. <laughs> and she's right. I think we're going to still need a little bit more for our semi-sweet. Um, and we may have to mix up a little more simple syrup, but uh, let's we'll see where we get. That's not bad. Still needs a little more. Yeah. A little more. We're probably going to add maybe half of this yet, and then probably the rest will be for our uh, sweet wine. So that still looks like there's two cups in there. Let's go try that. And remember, we sanitized everything before we do, and, uh, we do this, so critical step. I think we need more. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, let's go more. And this is, is where the hobby is fun. You get to make it the way you want it. This is like one, one reason why I started winemaking, to make it the way we like it. Mm -hmm. That's okay for semi-sweet. Mm. But for the sweet, I want a lot more in there. Yeah, it's pretty good for semi-sweet, so we'll start bottling a little bit more. So that's it. That's how you back sweeten wine. You got the technical way where you're doing calculations and so forth, or you have the Todd and Laura way. But there's another step to this. Make sure you're watching how to finish wine. I have a whole separate video. I'll put a link in the description. When you're sweetening wine, you want to make sure you're using stabilizer. Otherwise, you'll have a mess and you'll start blowing corks. So I hope I didn't confuse you with any of the calculations. Just make sure you're starting with a smaller sample of wine when you're adding your sweetener to get it uh, to where you like. Uh, I found that a quarter cup of wine works great when doing the calculation method. And one thing I didn't show you in this video is when I'm doing like a, a large five gallon batch, I'm doing dry, semi-sweet, and sweet. So before I would have done added any sweetener, I would have bottled to a couple of dry, and then I figure out what I like for semi-sweet, and then I, I bottled a cup of sweet. So again, that, that's what makes the hobby fun, is you are in control, and you decide how you want to make your wine. Thanks again for watching the channel. So much more to come, and make sure you're clicking that like and subscribe, and, Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Thank you.